Okay, that got me a little bit, Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness! What's up, everybody? My name is Velox, and today, check out the new set. We've got the plaque, we've got a neon sign. If you, you know, haven't seen my streams, I've started streaming a lot more lately. Uh, it's been great fun. I, I plan to stream later on uh, this evening, actually. Now, Five Nights at Freddy's. Tenth year anniversary is this year. And it's insane how quick it's gone because, you know, I was in secondary school um, at the time of its release. And so to think ten years since then, I'm getting old. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's creator Scott Cawthon confirmed the game's existence himself over the FNAF subreddit, saying that it's meant to be a part of uh, the franchise's 10th uh, anniversary celebrations. I'm sorry, I can't talk. Uh, I'm just so excited. Um, it was also developed for a re in development for a really long time, so 10 years. I have no idea what this could be. Um, Into the Pit is it's about the kid who goes into the, this time traveling ball pit and he you know goes back uh, to when the kids were basically game ended so um yeah i i maybe it's almost like going through this time traveling ball pit we have access to a collection of all the five nights at freddy's games reimagined maybe no idea what we're getting into whatsoever but i'm really um i'm really excited actually it took me a while to find the trailer but let's just get straight into this because I've I've spoken for way too long now. Jeff's pizza. Ooh, okay, looking spooky. Whoa, that's so cool. Okay, so so already right off the bat, this is clearly William Afton in the spring bonnie suit luring a child. You've got almost like this FNAF one aesthetic with the the red, black and white sort of tile pattern, which is not just classic FNAF building, but it's clearly not, not like the green and blue in FNAF 2. Uh, not like just the standard black and white you see in FNAF 3. This is... It's the original wall pattern. And it was also seen in the Halloween sort of teaser trailer by Click Team. Now, I may be mixing things up. Maybe Scott for the 10th anniversary has hired different companies to do different things with FNAF. And this is a separate one because I don't believe it's made by Click Team. But we will look into that after. This is so creepy and so well done. I really like the aesthetic. It seems like they're really like cashing in, in a good way, into this sort of pixelated aesthetic you see a lot. Okay, so who are we playing as here? Is this Michael Afton or are we playing as some sort of trespasser? No clue. Are we a kid? I can see the purple body on the wall. Oh, look at the establishment. Even its pixelated form, it's beautiful. So we're sneaking through. Look at that. So you've even got, um, like, the actual area where you would buy the food from with a little, like, fridge in the background. Employees only. This looks great. I have no idea what the actual point of this game is, but it does say objective, follow the creature. So, weirdly enough, it looks like we're playing as a child being lured by William. So, I also saw a heart rate monitor in the bottom right corner as well. Wait, okay, so so this is dad talking. Dad, what were you thinking hiding in that nasty old thing? Oh, so it's the kid from Into the Pit. Interesting, okay. Um, didn't he didn't you hear me calling you? Okay, that got me a little bit, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my goodness! Running. Oh, oh well we can hide inside Golden Freddy. Poor Cassidy. If it is, so we're in a costume. The breathing, like in FNAF 2, little reference. Oh, the breathing is horrible. Oh, they've actually made it creepy. That looks brilliant. I love that. Wow. We're going to look at the game. Um, Mega Cat Studios, never heard of them. But uh, just off the bat, it seems like the kind of company that would make a game like this. Very, like, this all, sort of, like, 2D or, like, locked camera perspective games. Where would I find any more information about this? I genuinely don't know how anyone found, uh, like, any of this out. Because I haven't seen a tweet or anything. I haven't seen um, anything on YouTube. Like, that wasn't posted by, that, that trailer wasn't by Mega Cat Studios. I went looking for this trailer on YouTube and I couldn't find it except from that person. 
So it must be a repost from somewhere, but I, I'm not informed um, where it is. Maybe block? They might have said something. Game development? Let's have a look. I've got no idea, guys. But that looks good. So it, I'm going to assume it's, uh, it's an official game that's coming out. And I can't wait to find out more. So, so as far as I'm aware, not click team might not be probably not related to the trailer, but for 10th anniversary, like I say, Scott could be gathering all these different people with the fan verse. I don't know what's going on with that, um, but like these different companies, maybe ones that he's worked with over the years or something to reimagine Five Nights at Freddy's um, to celebrate. But yeah. Well, that was interesting. I also realized I forgot to make my screen full screen for some reason, except from when I was watching the um, the video. So I'm going to just upscale that in post. Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you did enjoy, please like. Uh, definitely subscribe if you're new, uh, because we do stuff like this all the time. I also make FNAF VHS content. I have one um, coming out on Saturday, so be on the lookout for that. But yeah, this is brilliant. I can't wait to find out more. Take care. Thank you.